Let's start with the heavyweight fights because there were a couple of them. One of them was on Sunday Night Football with the Eagles and Cowboys. We'll get to that game. Second, we start with Mahomes and Allen. Was there any game ever in the history of the NFL <laughs> that you loved more than that game, which you couldn't totally watch it because we were doing Football Night in America yeah. during that? I mean, but this is this really is. This is the matchup now in the NFL, isn't it? It, it, this it is the it game. Is. It is the game. To, for me, yes. And, and you know, as we, we talked about last week and, and as we've talked about really even last offseason and the quarterback rankings, and it just I think these two quarterbacks are clearly head and shoulders above, above the rest of football. Uh, I do, and it's it is like a a Manning Brady type of thing, but with a totally different style and flair. That's where I love it. It's not like oh we checked into the right play every play. Omaha said hut. Oh hey check 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 this check that check this. These guys do all of that, but also play a style of football that is. I think more enjoyable and more fun to watch than just about anybody we've ever seen in the history of the game. And then when the checks aren't right or the play is not right, it just th- that doesn't mean anything to these two. And that's why I love it. So, yes. And then, of course, I feel uh, an attachment because I went hard on these guys when it was draft time, and I'm, I'm always rooting for them from that standpoint as far as uh, when they were coming out of college. But, yeah, this was the matchup. And, like, Ahmed, during this pregame show, like, I was literally not paying attention a few times just watching the game just going okay I know I'm about to come up here and talk yeah all right all right we're not yet okay and I was literally just watching 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 okay I'm is getting ready to come to me and now let me <laughs> act like I'm smart and paying yeah. attention <laughs> and then you talk about the Steelers for some reason yeah okay um <laughs> their numbers that we just showed there fairly similar that's similar. right um very similar 40 throws for both of them right 338 yards for Mahomes it was 329 for for Allen um, but the two interceptions for Patrick Mahomes, yep. one at the end of the game. Well, uh, and the, the one in the end zone, right? And the one in the end start zone. start the game. So I, I think maybe that is what we learned from this game. It, right. it, did, did the Bills do things in this game that made life maybe a little bit more difficult for the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes? Well, I think that's like a good place to start. I think both defenses did at some point of the game. I mean, we were sitting there. It was 10-3 late in the second quarter. We were going, well, this isn't exactly what we were expecting. You know, I think we were, you know, we all got spoiled by the end of that divisional playoff game last year but I do think there was you know there there's very common knowledge of kind of how the teams like to attack right and I think these since these teams have played each other so much over the last few years and I know it's Ken Dorsey instead of Brian Dayball but still there's a lot of similarities in their offense to where yeah I think that led to two really good defensive minds and Frazier and Spagnuolo having some good things game plan wise to trick the other quarterback make life hard on them my big my baseline base headline would be this the Bills just have more answers on both sides of the football. They really do. One, when you talk about the offense with Josh Allen, I think you saw yesterday. First off, I think their passing game, maybe you know, just a little bit more diverse as far as what they do to attack schemes that way. Right? They really make you defend the whole field because Allen can throw the screen, screens and the short passes and do all that. But Allen and the Buffalo Bills, as compared to the Kansas City Chiefs, another thing they have in their favor is they really throw the ball outside the numbers a lot too. So you couple that with, whoa, wait, we got a little bit better offensive line this year in Buffalo. They can run the ball too, and you can't just sit there this year – and play cover two and play these zone coverages all the time, Kansas City, because we got some other answers for you. And you, you can see here, right here with the, the sprite chart, right, Ahmed, about yeah. the difference in how these guys attack a Yeah, what bit. does this passing chart show you? It looks like Josh Allen deep outside the numbers. I think we have a number on that, right? Uh, deep outside the numbers. He was 16 of 20 for 229 yards and all three of his touchdowns. Right. Well, you, you know, you think about you think about the, the three touchdowns. Two of them were go routes, right, kind of down the right sideline. The throw at the end of the game to Dawson Knox was hanging in the pocket, hit him in the back left corner of the end zone. And, and then some of the biggest pass plays of the game were some of those highlights we showed during Sunday Night Football where he hit those cover two in between the safety and the corner. Coach Dungy kind of raved about it like yeah. they make it look so easy and this is not an easy throw. I, I think between that, you know, and then – the biggest thing to me is too is Buffalo's defense. Buffalo's defense, as you saw, you know, they're a different animal this year. And they don't have to be quite as daring and creative and maybe take as many chances as they did in years past because of the depth of their football team, I think, on the defensive line primarily. I think they got into a game yesterday and went, 
We don't have to, you know, like you've heard me kind of say all year. We don't have to have, you know, the linebackers at the line of scrimmage faking a blitz, maybe blitz, and you don't know what's going to happen because we're trying to confuse you so you don't run the ball, but we're going to drop back into coverage. And, you know, they were having to scheme up things to kind of hide some deficiencies on their defensive side of the ball, and that's no longer the answer. So, yeah, right now uh, these are two, of course, heavyweights, but I think the Bills are just a little bit more of a complete football team throughout and put a little more pressure on you on both sides of the ball if I had to boil it down to one yeah, thing. Yeah, you've mentioned it a lot of times. I know. Fine. Miller has changed that defense a team high five quarterback pressures three quarterback hits he had a pressure on that last game deciding interception Taron Johnson no doubt had a had a pressure I think on the the drive before where you know the the stop the um the Chiefs on the field goal that when they went up 20 to 17 he didn't get a sack Mahomes is going to scramble for the first down all right he kind of avoids the guys run to his left and Von Miller chases him down from behind and trips him up for I think a gain or two where you look at the play and I went oh man if he didn't get him he's going to get a first down and then who knows what happens they're up by a touchdown Mm -hmm. so yes Von Miller as we've talked about Gregory Rousseau continues to show presence on the football field Jordan Phillips as we've discussed those are these are different animals that they haven't had in years past and it's freed up Tremaine Edmonds and Matt Milano and now they don't always have to try to oh well let me help out the D-line and make up for our deficiencies there to where they can play football too so uh, awesome game it really was I can't wait to kind of sit down here this afternoon and watch it again just to really digest it but uh, it looked like both quarterbacks made a number of big plays and big throws and, yeah. and obviously Allen just got the best of Mahomes in this I'm one. I'm guessing we'll probably talk about this game a little bit again on Wednesday at least some part of this game. Yeah. Sam Bradshaw 33 right. says just talk about Josh Allen the whole show please. <laughs> Anything else you want to say well, about Josh? <laughs> no, I mean, you, you know my thoughts. I mean, just yeah. both of these guys are just, it's amazing. And some of the plays they made during the game, you just go, hey, just, there's nobody that could do that or or make it look that easy and still pull it off. They're one you know, and two and no one is really all that close, that, right? That's, that's my point. That's that's what I tried to say to a lot of people last week and even on a few like radio stations I went on. I just went, in, in my eyes, I mean, listen, I love Herbert. You know I love Burrow, mm-hmm. right? You know, Aaron Rodgers, Brady, whatever. We can go down the list Lamar I I don't think I'm going to put anybody in the class of these two right now because just there's very little weakness to their game it's it's, as you heard me say it's brains and brawn and and they can do it all that way and of course then just the backyard style of football too that makes them so unbelievable but yeah I mean Mahomes first touchdown pass to Juju Smith-Schuster running to the right throwing the ball across the field Juju catches it breaks a tackle you know they're you know they have a good system again, but to me they're more a little more reliant on stuff like that at times, right? And I just go, that's not always going to get it done against these better defenses. Where sure. I feel like Buffalo has a few more schematical answers at times, and uh, we'll see. This Kansas City defense will continue to get better. They are young, they are and young. that's where I go. This isn't the best of what they have to offer yet either. Uh, we'll see where this all heads uh, when it's all said and done. But I'm, I'm surely hoping this is the AFC Championship matchup. Thanks for watching, homies. Hit subscribe to see all my unbuttoned videos. You get to see me, Ahmed Fareed, all the big player breakdowns, game breakdowns, player interviews, and my film analysis. So please subscribe. Chris Sims Unbuttoned. Peace out.